I want to welcome you guys to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yana Diamond. What's up, people? How you doing? We have an amazing guest on the show today. I'm so very excited to have her here. It's Pam right. Pilati. That's a really, really cool name, and it's all her husband's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on the show today. You're welcome. Oh, Thanks. my gosh. So tell me about yourself. Tell me how did you become an author? Um, I've always had a, a propensity for writing. Uh, I wrote better than I talked to people. So uh, that probably started it. And then um, as far as the book is concerned, I just had a desire to share some of the adventures we went on. It seemed like we were always in the middle of adventures. Oh, that is so cool. So you guys went on a lot of events. I mean, okay, so give me like a sample because I mean, this seems like it's one of those those movie kind of things. The the book seems like a movie kind of thing? Yeah, it seems like as if I'm I'm just ready to like have like people shooting at you. I'm ready. <laughs> right. Well, you know, let's face it. Whenever you travel, you run into things that you're not expecting and it's up to you to respond in the right way. And I don't always respond in the right way. And um, we would get in the, into a situation and my husband would look at me and say, are we on another adventure? <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. So what made you want to write these? Because I mean, you could have kept this to yourself. I could have. Um, I knew that they were humorous and I like to, I like to share laughter with people and um, I decided that this was the kind of a book that I would pick up in an airport. Mm -hmm. um, just real light reading. And um, so that's why I wrote it. But it was over a 20 year span. Wow. Wow. Share one of the stories in there that people can look forward to reading. Well, maybe my, my last one was to Kauai. Mm -hmm. And um, that was our 40th wedding anniversary. Oh, that is so cool. Now up to our 50th. Mm. Oh, but my gosh. I wrote that and, um, you know, I write the things after I've been on the trip, actually, mm -hmm. during it. But, um, you know, there were just so many funny things that happened to me. The funniest thing that happened was uh, when I decided to uh, um, dry our wet shoes from our our trek up to the Kauai, um, I guess, I don't know what we were going up to, but uh, uh, at any rate, uh, I dried my, I dried our shoes in the dryer. Well, that's not a smart idea to do with leather. And the next day they were totally shrunk. Oh yeah. So you didn't have any shoes. Right. So oh, I had to, <laughs> I, I, whenever I'm doing things, it's kind of like, I don't want Tom to find out that I've done something stupid, you know? So I'm always trying to hide it, you know? <laughs> that is so hilarious. I mean, that's like Lucille Ball kind of thing. Yeah, right. I love Lucille Ball. I think that that is so cool. Oh my gosh. So what did you do? How did you hide it? Did you ever, did you ever like, get found out about this? Or do oh, we have to read the book? He found out, of course, because, because the next day he went to put his shoes on and they didn't fit, you know? So you put the leather shoes inside the dryer. Yeah. And not only was it was it bad on the shoes, but it was bad on the dryer because it was caked all over the whole dryer. There was sand from our trip, from our walking trip. So oh my gosh. The situation. And he finds out these things afterwards, but it's just that, you know, I'm I'm embarrassed for him to know it at the time. Oh my goodness. That is but that is too funny. That is way too funny. Oh my gosh. So there are a lot of different things in your book that, that kind of signify what you've done and how you've tried to hide it. Right. <laughs> mostly, mostly my expectations and how they've been thwarted and, and my response to it. So what is your response? You tell me you don't really respond very well. No, I don't. I'm a perfectionist and perfectionistic people, uh, you know, they don't, they don't do well with the unexpected. Let's put it that way. I know. I know. So, you know, yeah. I, I can't, I can't give you an example really, but, um, uh, you know, I mean, things happen and, and I just kind of play along with it and, and try to come out of it looking good. Well, of course you do. 
I absolutely love this book, though. I absolutely love your mishap. The mishaps of traveling yep. is so cute. And I love the cover. I mean, tell me more about you, the book, and are you putting out another book? I haven't. I haven't thought about it. I may not live that long. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I hope you do live a lot longer than it, than you think or expect. I, what I had pictured, more stories. Yeah, what I had pictured is uh, it would be neat if somebody hired me and sent me on trips and then I write travel stories. But nobody has hired me for that. So it's just a matter of, you know, deciding to do it yet myself. But we're not traveling as much as we used to, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, well, I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, you know, there is just so much to say about this and the humor in it. I can find the humor in this. And I yeah. think people will find the humor in this. I mean, just as much as I do. I mean, okay, so writing the book, was it something different for you? Because you, you started this, you know, when, 20 years ago when you started writing? Did you ever think that this would be a book, though? Yeah, I was writing it for that. So mm that it would be a book because so cool. if, if it uh, was humorous to me, it was going to be humorous to somebody else. Most mm -hmm. people relate in some way or another. Yeah, definitely. And what does your family say about this book? Well, I don't have children. Okay. Um, I have a brother and I don't know that he's really been aware of it. It's just more my husband who, who sort of looks at me and, <laughs> and gives me that, that husband wife look, you know, about, You've done it again. That is so cool, though. What kind of advice do you give to people who may want to write a book? Maybe they're a little bit shy and they're like, hey, nobody's going to find this funny. Uh, I didn't set out to be funny necessarily. Um, so I would say just write from your experience and then look back at it and see what you can add to it or take away from it that would make it a better book. That is so cool. Is there anything that you would like to say today that we left out? No, that's no, it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, Pam, I want to thank you so much for being on the show. People can get your book. I'm going to put the link in the description box below, but you saw the cover and yeah. it is so cute. It is the mishaps of traveling and it is, it is, it's really funny. I mean, if you like the leather shoes and you wait until you hear the rest or read the rest. Right. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. And until next time, guys, bye.